Hello again, welcome back to our motion tutorial series. Today, we're focusing on managing tasks like a pro. We'll explore how to track task progress, organize your tasks effectively, and understand task states. Let's get started. Section one, tracking task progress. Do you ever start a task but you can't finish it in one go? No worries. Motion start and stop functions help you track how much time you've spent and how much time is left. Here's how. Let's go to the calendar and let's start a task. It's late now, and I wanna start this task to get ahead of schedule. Create the sign mockups for approval. I'm gonna right click on the task and click on start task now. It will ask me how long I'm gonna work on this task. It's already late, so I'm only gonna work on it for 30 minutes. I can click the start button. As soon as I start the task, you will see that motion puts it right on my calendar and it puts it on the up next control. You see that here, the task has a stop button so I can stop it once I'm done. Let's fast forward 30 minutes and say I've finished the task. I can click on stop task and tell motion that I worked on it for 30 minutes and that I still have probably another hour to go. Go ahead and click stop. As soon as that happens, you will see that motion will put the create design task half an hour as completed right here. And it will have the second half of it over here, two out of two. And as I hover on it, it tells me that the task was divided into two chunks. And I worked on some of it today and some of it I'm gonna work on Friday. If I open the task, I can see that in the duration field, I've completed 30 minutes out of one and a half hours that I had set up for the task. This feature ensures that you have an accurate picture of your progress, helping you manage your time way more effectively. Section two, viewing and organizing your task. An organized task list is key to staying on top of your work. Let's explore how to view and organize your tasks in most. Up to this moment, we've only looked at the calendar, but now I'm gonna show you the power of the project management tools that Motion has to offer. Let's start by clicking on my task right here on the left to see all tasks assigned to you. This view, it's an aggregate view of all tasks assigned to you across all workspaces. Remember, a workspace is the top level of organization at Motion. Workspaces can be private or they can be public, and their access can be controlled by the workspace admin. You also have a private workspace called My Tasks, where you can create and manage personal tasks that you don't want anyone on your team to see. Okay, back to this My Tasks aggregate view. In here, you can see how your tasks are all neatly organized by week. You can drag a task to next week, for example, if you want to do it then, and Motion will automatically optimize your schedule and schedule this task next week. For example, this task Select the Appetizer is now scheduled for Thursday, September 19th, and it's still on track to meet its deadline of Sunday, September the 20th. You can also change other fields right from the task itself, like status, priority, completed time, duration, deadline, or assigned. You can also add labels from right here. If you've not created any labels, you can create one in line with this button. You can also click this button called card fields right here, which will let you choose which extra fields you would want to display on each task. For example, I can choose client and paid to show on the tasks that support those custom fields. More on that later, actually in the next lesson. And if you only want to see which tasks are at risk of missing their deadline, you can click this button here and Motion will only show you your at-risk tasks. As you can see, all these tasks are at risk. Why are they at risk? For example, this task to coordinate email marketing designs has a deadline of September 24th, but Motion has not been able to schedule it until October 2nd. Why? Because it has a blocker. The blocker is here, and until that blocker is done, my task cannot be scheduled, and so it's at risk of missing that. We're gonna learn a lot more about how Motion works for teams later, but here's just a little preview of how smart Motion is in helping you organize your task and your team task. Motion's view system is very powerful. With Motion's views, you can pivot your data in any way you want. We will cover these functions in depth in our advanced section on views and reports, but for now, I'm gonna show you the basics. Okay, going back here to my tasks view, let's switch the view type to list instead of can. As you can see, Motion displays the same exact information in a list format. This list is still currently grouped by deadline in week format, showing only your task. You can right click on any grouping and either expand or collapse the group or expand and collapse all. I can also click this button here on any group to select all the tasks in that group if I want to bulk edit any other field in that task. And you can also copy all tasks in a group or in the whole view using the copy task buttons like so. Copy tasks right here or clicking this button right here, copy tasks table. This is very handy if you want to export your tasks into a different tool, like for example, to Excel. You can also toggle the filters control with this button right here. And with this, you can select different filter groups and filter types for both projects and tasks. And last, and certainly not least, one of the most important buttons in all of Motion, the group by control, is a game changer in how you can customize and set up Motion for you and your team. It gives you infinite flexibility in how you can set up your views and report. Let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, we have a group section and a data section. Let's start actually at the bottom with the data section. 
The data section allows you to select what the data you want to display and manipulate is. Motion has two main data types at the moment, tasks and projects, with meetings coming soon. You can select tasks or projects and Motion show you what you need so it can be manipulated. Now to the group section. This section allows you to specify how you want your data group. For example, right now, data is set to tasks and they are grouped by deadline. We can change this deadline to be by month, for example, and we see that this is September 2024, October 2024, or we can change the group by control altogether to group tasks by a different field. For example, priority. And as I click here, you will see that tasks are now grouped by priority, with 11 being high. And if I collapse all groups, you can see that I have 19 medium and 29 low. One more thing. In here, the group by control, you can add multiple layers of grouping. So for example, I can add a nested row for project, and I can add a nested row for stage. If we look at my report here, it's not necessarily in the right order. So we can change the order of these to be project, stage, priority. And now I can see my projects with stage, priority. All my tasks are grouped in this manner. And just like that, I've created my first report. You can save your views and reports by clicking on the save button up here. So you can get back to this exact configuration later. I'm going to save this one as my tasks by project. When I click save, and now this view is created. As I mentioned before, these views can be switched from list to Kanban to Gantt, giving you all the tools that you need to set up your team's work in the way that your team works best. Section three, understanding task states and past due items. Motion uses past states to help you understand the state of your tasks at a glance. For this, let's go back to my task so I can show you how all these states look. Let's break them down. Task can be one, not in calendar. These tasks aren't scheduled yet. Motion isn't helping you schedule them. For example, this contact vendors task, if I turn auto scheduling off, it's gonna fall out of the calendar. We recommend that when you use Motion, keep all your tasks auto scheduled. That way, Motion can help you put them on the calendar and help you get them done. When will you not auto schedule a task? These are for tasks that you want to store, but you don't necessarily want to do them. And so Motion can serve as a repository for you to store ideas that you want to do later. Two, auto scheduled and on time. These are tasks that are scheduled before their deadline and you're on track to complete them. All these tasks will show in purple throughout Motion. And when you hover on the date, Motion will tell you that the task will meet deadline and when it's auto scheduled. And as you can see, this task is scheduled on Wednesday, September 18th, and the deadline is Wednesday, September 18th. And three, auto scheduled at risk. That means that a task is currently scheduled after its deadline. Motion alerts you so you can take action in this case. So for example, I'm gonna click and only show schedule past deadline. And you can see that these tasks have a red text and it tells you that it will not meet deadline of September 20th because it's auto scheduled on September 20th. Now I wanna show you the past due control. Motion does its best to try to tell you way in advance if it thinks a task is not going to meet its deadline. For that, we have this past due control here. When you hover, it tells you what's happened. Right now, it tells you that you have eight soft deadline tasks that are past due, and more importantly, Motion helps you resolve them with just one. In order to resolve at-risk tasks, you can take a few actions. First, you can try to meet the deadline. And for this, you have two options. One, you can turn on for deadline. Hard deadline tells Motion to do anything in its power to try to get the task done before the deadline comes. Even if that means working late nights, skipping lunch. The second thing you can do here is to set the priority to ASAP. This tells Motion, schedule this task as soon as you can, but within work hours. Two, you can extend the deadline. For example, in this case, Motion recommends that I extend the deadline to Tuesday, October 22nd, or I can pick any date up. Three, I can just go ahead and ignore the warning. Say this is a recurring task I don't care too much about or a task that is not high priority and I just kind of want Motion to keep scheduling it along, I can ignore the warning and just let it be. There's a few other options you have. So let's open up this task and show you what. First, if you work with a team, you can try to reassign the task to somebody that may have more time to get it done. You can also complete the task if you just forgot to complete it before. Or you can go ahead and mark the task as canceled and then Motion just won't bother you. Understanding task states helps you stay proactive and it ensures that nothing falls through the cracks. Every other tool out there, they let you know if you and your team have tasks on time or if they are late. But only Motion can predict if a task will be on time or if it will be late because it has access to your calendar, thus giving you the superpower of prediction for all your tasks on time. It's like knowing the future. All right, fantastic work. You've now mastered how to manage your personal tasks in Motion. By tracking your progress, organizing tasks effectively, and understanding task states, you are now equipped to stay on top of your workload like never before. Remember, the key is to trust Motion to handle the scheduling so you can focus on what you do best. Thanks for joining us on this productivity journey. There's a lot more lessons ahead. We've only covered the basics. All right, until next time, bye-bye and happy scheduling.